right you are. I have here the iGadgets large universal camera tripod. This is as it came. Obviously inside a box with the padding. And this has got the phone holder as well. In case you wanted to use your phone, I thought I'd try it out. I don't tend to use my phone much anymore for our videos, so. But I will like to have the option there. There's only like a pound or two more. So let's try this out, just cut it open. Okay, so the sellotape that was holding them together was a horrible cheap sellotape. Just gonna bring that up. So let's see. I wanted a small tripod, a desktop type tripod, tabletop tripod, whatever you call them. So the instructions here is, is part of the packaging, which is nice, and it saves wasted paper and pamphlets that you just kind of chuck aside. This just tells you screw your camera on the top. By turning the knob, it'll tighten it up, and you have an adjustment there to pull out the top part screw, I guess. So I'm guessing you can rotate the camera then by that picture. There's no written words really, you know, instruction wise. So I'm just guessing from the picture. So, and it, it the legs are also bend kind of like those gorilla ones. So, so that'll be handy to have. Let's just take a look. First off, it seems nice and light. I don't know if you can see well. Um, I don't know if light is a good thing though, when putting a, you know, an expensive camera on the top, especially if it's heavy like this one. Um, but you know, stability comes in the, the spread of the legs, etc. That seems nice and sturdy, it doesn't move. The legs themselves are grippy, it's a white rubber. So they, they do kind of, you can't move it around very easily. So that's nice. Got the screw up there. Let's zoom into that. A screw nut at the top to loosen and tighten up the ball joint because this top is a ball type design. So you can change the angle of the camera in any which way you please. Um, so what we'll do is we'll take this and put my DSLR on top. Okay, so to get the top off, you've got a button either side here, you push those in, and then the top lifts out. So you can screw this to your camera bottom. It's a nice metal tightening nut there. Although, you know, this plastic, I've got to say, isn't the best grid. It's quite, I think it's quite cheap, cheaper, on the cheapest side of the scale. But we'll see, you know, for the price, you can't expect quality, like luxury quality, so let's test it out. Okay, so the cat likes it. Put it on. And it's, ooh, it's falling straight off. Okay, so it seems I didn't push it down enough. You really need to push this thing down and test it. Test a couple of times with your hands to make sure that it is in properly because the last thing you want is your camera to fall to the ground. So it wasn't a good start, I will be honest. Uh, but it seems to be in there okay now. Let me tighten this up. So even with this tightened up, it still wants to move around. I don't want to go too tight because I do feel like it could break to be fair. Let's see here it is wrapped around my chair arm. And to be honest, it seems quite sturdy here. It does do a good job of holding on. I tried to pull that, the whole chair comes with it. And it's, the legs, as far as their bendiness, I think are quite solid, you know? It's just that it, I don't know if I trust this neck though. I don't trust the uh, top plate there to hold. I certainly wouldn't, Put my camera on you with a bigger lens. This is only a small 35mm. I wouldn't put a larger lens on this and use this tripod. And it's okay if you want to just put it on your desk, you know, on your tabletop or whatever, but I wouldn't use it out and about putting it in, wrapping it on trees or whatever you see people do. I think you'd have to watch it because I just don't trust the top piece. It may be fine, but once it's on, it seems to be held on quite well. But like I said, you know, anything bigger than this lens, no way. Okay, so 
I'm going to try out the phone adapter that came with this. It's got a screw at the bottom. You screw it onto the tripod itself, and then got the phone holder. I'm going to have to cut this out. Yeah. Okay. There we are. It's a nice feel to it. It's nice and strong. So you've got the option there of having it mounted on uh, the bottom there, or you can have it on the back. It's there as an option, which is always welcome. I don't know how. Oh, you. Oh, you just pull it. Wow. It's really strong. I don't know how far this extends. Let's just try it with my. This is an LG G3. I don't know if it's going to be big enough. Can I go big enough to hold it? Wow, what a stretch it does, and it really, really has got a good grip on that. So let's take a look at the fitting. So this will screw in the bottom. Okay. There you go, so that's. That's in nicely there. And then it goes on the top. Let me just. Okay, so you fit this nicely on the top there. Just push it down till the two little tabs each side pop out. And just make sure, especially if you're using a camera, make sure this is uh, fitted in properly because I think I made a mistake earlier. So there we are. This is the job. That'll record now. And keep your camera nice and. Steady if you wanted to mount it there, that's perfect, they won't move at all. Yeah, so that looks good. Let me just uh, press record. How do I do that? There we are, it's recording now. Nice and still. Let's put it to face me. Hello, hello. This has been held now nice and steadily on my iGadgets tripod. <coughs> I think it's perfect for phones. I think that's, that's a great use for it because the phone is so light and this is, it is quite a light tripod, you know. But it, like, it, like I have shown you in my video, it does hold the SLRs, but I wouldn't trust it with too much weight of the lens. I think the 35 or 50 mil, something like that is, is good, but definitely not a telescopic lens or a zoom lens, I think it would be too heavy. But a basic lens would be good. And uh, I've tried it with my video camera as well, with the Sony, which uh, is a big camera f as far as handy ma handy cams go. Let me put this on me as well. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> right, that's enough of that. <laughs> 